Hey what's up guys, today I'll show you a mystery horror film, The Wretched. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. 35 years ago, toys were on the muddy ground, while the rain made it soaking wet. A babysitter comes to the house of her client to take care of their baby, but upon arriving inside, the family seems to be nowhere to be found. She suddenly hears a banging sound, so she follows it, until she reaches the basement. There, she finds the family photo, and the image of the father has a mark on it. She then searches through, until she finds the mother eating her own baby. The mother turns around, and notices her. She runs back, but the father closes the door, locking her with the mother, which leads to her demise. Then, a creepy triangular sign is apparent on the door of the basement. This signifies a witch creature, called the Wretched. It turns out, the creature uses the mother's body as its host to eat children. It also manipulates the mind of the father by bewitching him. The scene then moves to the present. A teenager, Ben, is being drowned in the waters. Five days before that, Ben is on the bus traveling towards the house of his father, who recently split from his mother. He is coming there for a brief vacation for the summer. On the bus, a grandma compliments the writings on his arm cast. Ben eventually arrives at his father's house, and they share dinner. The following day, Ben notices their neighbor, Abby, and her family are staying in their own vacation house. The father brings Ben to his boathouse. There, Ben will help to maintain the boathouse. As he proceeds to work, he encounters a rude group of teenagers. He then meets a girl, Mallory, who also works there. She is friendly, and offers him some candy. Shortly after, he receives a call from his mother, asking about his hormone-rich father. Just then, he sees his father is embracing his new girlfriend, Sarah. Meanwhile, Abby and her child, nicknamed Kid, are roaming around the woods. She privately takes a pee for a moment, leaving Kid alone. Kid finds a triangular marking in the tree, and he takes a photo of it. It turns out, the wretched, shown at the beginning of the film, currently resides there. Just then, the wretched uses Abby's voice to call Kid. It lures him to come towards its lair, located under the tree roots. Fortunately, Abby arrives and calls him back. He turns around, and finds the lair already gone. Later, Abby and her son arrive back home. Abby takes a buck in the back of the car. Her husband, who takes care of their baby, wonders where it came from. She then claims that she hid it in the road, and she plans to eat its meat. So, she proceeds to clean it. However, she accidentally removes its gut. Kid then comments that she did it wrong, in the middle of the night, the wretched emerges out of the buck's body, and it starts to roam around. Ben wakes up from his sleep, upon hearing its movement. He walks out to check it, until he finds a hole in the neighbor's house. He looks behind him, where the wretched is watching him. The neighbor's husband walks outside to check the commotion, and flashes a light on him, stopping him from seeing the wretched. Ben then walks back home to sleep. The next day, Ben sees Kid poking the hole in their house. He warns Kid to stay away from it. He proceeds to ride in his father's car, telling his father that he wants to meet Sarah. So his father gladly plans a dinner for them later. Later at the boathouse, Ben encounters Mallory's sister, who tells him that he is not cute. Meanwhile, Abby notices that their garden flowers are withering. She walks back to their house, and more flowers begin to wither. Apparently, the presence of the wretched is causing it, as it currently resides under their house. In the boathouse, Ben encounters Kid, who is frustrated, since he wants to paddle the boat. He offers popsicles to Kid. In return, he requests Kid to tell him if Kid sees anything strange in their house. Later, Ben comes to buy bread for their dinner. There, he encounters Mallory and the other teenagers, who are asking him to come to the party. He decides not to attend the dinner, and comes to the party instead. There, Ben and Mallory have a private conversation on the side. He asks her if she has any secrets. She replies that she cannot reveal her darkest secrets. He then reveals that he went to steal medicine from his neighbor's house. Upon the neighbor's arrival, he jumped out of the window, which caused his injury. In return, Mallory reveals her own secret. During her fourth grade, she wore an orange wig, and it smelled like a butt. So she was called by her stage name, Star Crush. Shortly after, a sexy teenager calls him to the pool. He removes his clothes and follows her. However, the rude teenagers arrive and start to make fun of him. Meanwhile, the wretched is lurking around Abby's baby. Kid wakes up from the sound of the movement, so he moves to sleep in his mother's bedroom. Abby notices that the baby's camera has moved, so she comes down to check on their baby. Upon checking it, the baby has gone out of its crib, and has been replaced by pieces of wood. The wretched appears underneath, and instantly grabs her. What's more, the wretched enters her body, making her its own host. 
Ben eventually arrives back home, and notices Abby walking into the woods. His father, who is looking for him, also arrives and takes him inside. His father forces him to apologize to Sarah for missing their dinner, but he refuses to do so, and calls Sarah a bitch. She hears it, and decides to leave the house. The next day, Mallory ignores Ben, because he came to swim with a sexy girl. The teenagers then mock Ben for last night, so he throws hot garbage to their boat. Meanwhile, Kid finds his other bunny gone, so he comes upstairs to tell his mother. But he becomes horrified, after he witnesses his mother's strange behavior. Later at night, Ben's father is busy with work, so he decides to have a ride with Sarah going to their home. Along the way, she reveals to Ben that she is lactose intolerant. Meanwhile, Mallory finds apology candies from Ben, making her happy. Ben goes inside their home alone, and finds the frightened kid hiding in his room. They then hear Abby looking for her son from outside, but Kid tells him not to let her in. Ben goes downstairs, and tells her that Kid is not there. In response, she strangely calls Ben a stupid boy, and she threatens to snap his other arm. Her husband arrives, making Kid come out of the house. Kid informs his father that Abby is acting weirdly, but he just laughs it off, saying that Abby is always weird. After that, the husband checks their baby, and finds it gone. But he just acts normally, and does not get alarmed. Apparently, the wretched has already bewitched him, making him forget about their baby. The next day, Ben notices that Kid does not attend their paddle boating lesson. So he rushes back to ask the neighbor where Kid is. To his shock, the husband replies that he does not remember having a child. Right then, Ben notices a strange triangular sign. He then proceeds to research it. After some research, he learns that the triangular sign belongs to the wretched, which is born from roots, rocks, and trees. He then informs Mallory that the wretched is bewitching his neighbors. So they both observe the neighbor's weird behavior. Mallory jokingly comments that the wretched keep the babies inside the neighbor's cellar. After that, Mallory leaves a note at the neighbor's house, telling the neighbor that they know about the babies in the cellar. The note also has a witch drawing on it. The husband gets it, and tries to check it. But then the wretched inside Abby's body, whispers something to his ear, which manipulates his mind, causing him to bleed in his ear and making him act like a robot. The following day, Abby's body has some transformation, and the wretched takes a tooth out of it. Outside, Ben puts salt around their house as a protection against the wretched. The wretched approaches him, and gives back the note from Mallory. Later, Ben sees the wretched leaves, so he immediately sneaks inside the cellar. There, he sees a witch statue made out of wood. He finds a photo of the neighbor's family. He tries to call 911, but he suddenly finds the photo of Mallory and her sister, marking them as the wretched's target. So he rushes towards the boathouse, and calls Mallory to warn her about her sister. But it turns out, Mallory possibly has been bewitched, since she does not remember her sister. Later, Ben arrives in the boathouse, and he sees the wretched taking Mallory's sister to the woods. He chases them, but the angry teenagers stop him, for throwing garbage to their boat. He just ignores them, and proceeds to run to the woods. He eventually finds the lair. He tries to grab Mallory's sister out of the lair, but to no avail. He passes out in the middle of the woods, he wakes up at night, and comes back home. There, the police and his angry father, who keeps looking for him, wait him. It was reported that he sneaked into the neighbor's house, and he beat up the teenagers. He then reveals the strange things that are happening in the neighbor's family. He tells his father to check the cellar, so his father will believe him. His father does not believe him, and decides to deliver him back to his mother. In anger, he storms off to the kitchen, where he encounters Sarah. He notices that she puts milk into her coffee, despite her being lactose intolerant. He takes a look at the flower, and it slowly withers, signaling that the wretched is now inside Sarah's body. Just then, the wretched reveals itself, forcing him to stab it. Ben's father comes back, and Sarah's body comes back to normal. Believing that Ben even hurts the innocent Sarah, the policeman decides to take Ben to the police station. When Ben gets inside the car, he sees the wretched bewitching policeman, bleeding in his ear. This makes him completely scared, and he begs his father to believe him. His father is about to follow their car, but the wretched stops him from leaving. His father calls Mallory, and tells her to update him if she gets anything from Ben. Meanwhile, the bewitched policeman drags Ben to the waters. He drowns Ben, attempting to kill him, but a dog suddenly attacks the policeman, saving him from drowning. Unfortunately, the policeman shoots the poor dog, and attempts to shoot him next. However, the policeman fights off the bewitching curse and shoots himself, instead of killing Ben. In the meantime, Ben's father gets suspicious, and goes to check the cellar. But he finds nothing there, so he sneaks to the neighbor's house to search. 
There he sees Abby's dead body, and her son hanging in the ceiling. On the other side, he finds their marked family photo, indicating that they are targeted victims. Just then, the wretched appears behind him, and stabs him. He drops his lantern, which slowly sets the house on fire. He rushes downstairs, where he hits the wretched back. In response, it chokes him down. Luckily, Ben arrives in time, and shoots it using the policeman's gun. He proceeds to help his father walk out of the house. Meanwhile, the wretched slowly comes out of Sarah's body, and it fully emerges in a few moments. Ben and his father ride in their car to escape. But Ben suddenly remembers about his younger brother, whose name is written on his cast. Ben then realizes that the wretched had bewitched him to forget about his brother. So he rushes back to their house to get his brother, but he is nowhere to be found. He figures out that the wretched must have taken his brother to its lair. So he prepares gasoline and salt, hoping to destroy the wretched and its lair. Right then Mallory arrives, looking for her sister. So she joins him in going to the wretched's lair. Before reaching the lair, Ben instructs Mallory to burn the lair, if he is unable to get out after 10 minutes. Just then, Ben enters the lair to search for his brother and Mallory's sister. After some time, Ben eventually finds his brother covered by the roots. He wakes the brother up, and instructs him to crawl out of the lair first. He continues to search for Mallory's sister, and finds the wretched eating a child. It then crawls back after seeing him. He proceeds to check on his brother, but the creature suddenly appears in front of him. It proceeds to attack him, but he manages to shoot it back. He escapes from the wretched, and assists his brother to go out of the lair. After that, he continues to search, until he eventually finds Mallory's sister. He gets her out of the roots to wake her up. Just then, the wretched emerges out of the water, and attacks him again. The girl takes a photo of it, which distracts it. This allows Ben to get a bone, and stabs it back. Ben grabs the girl, and hands her over to Mallory. After that, he gets out of the lair, and finally reunites with Mallory. However, the wretched appears out of its lair, and tries to grab him back. At the critical moment, Mallory throws salt at it, which burns it, allowing Ben to escape. Just then, his injured father arrives, and instantly hits the horrified wretched with his car. After that, they proceed to burn its lair. The movie ends when Mallory picks out a flower, and puts it in her ears. She walks past the flowers, but it does not wither. She proceeds to do her job as a boat paddling instructor for children. Meanwhile, their mother picks Ben and his brother from the boathouse. Ben bids a tongue massage goodbye to Mallory, so she gives him the flower from her ears. After that, Ben leaves, and his father proceeds to join them, hoping he can fix their marriage. Along the way, Ben realizes that the flower given by Mallory is made out of plastic, and he suddenly appears worried. In the end, Mallory stays with the children in the middle of the water, where she gives an evil smile. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.